My name is Jamie. Um, what role do I play? I'm a wife, I'm a mother to four children. Um, I'm also a carer to my husband who has hereditary amyloidosis. He was diagnosed in 2013. And since then, um, a lot have happened which led me to um, start an association for amyloidosis patients in New Zealand. So NZAPA was formed at the end of 2019, um, New Zealand Amyloidosis Patient Association. Who do we support? We support patients and carers, um, first and foremost. Our motto is, we are better together. And what we do, uh, there's a lot of information out there for somebody that's just been diagnosed with the disease. So it's important that you get the most up-to-date and correct information on the disease. So we provide that. Um, we provide treatment information as well. Uh, there's a lot of treatment currently being done in the market globally, which is fantastic for patients that, especially for the wild type and the hereditary, which um, at this point in time, as we know, there is no cure. So. Providing correct treatment advice and information is very, very important. And further to that, you know, once you think that you're, f you're not feeling well and you go to the doctors, generally you will not be able to get a proper diagnosis at that point. So what we try to do is to connect patients with the correct specialists that know what this disease is about. So we connect patients with the specialists either locally or overseas. Further to that as well, which is equally important, is we connect patients to patients because at the end of the day, I think supporting one another is so important. Even carers, because I myself am a carer and initially when my husband was first diagnosed, it was very, very difficult to come into terms with what was happening. And I remember wishing almost that I had somebody there that I could talk to and get advice from. So taking into account what we have gone through as a couple, um, we want to be able to provide this sort of connection between patients and carers with other patients and carers because, you know, again, as I said, support is really, really important. So what have we achieved since the start of NZAPA? We have placed New Zealand on the treatment map for uh, a lot of pharmaceutical companies. Prior to us starting the association, um, we, New Zealand almost is not on the radar for a lot of these treatment entities. So now that we have this association, we are really, really proud because we are now on the world map. And clinicians overseas and pharmaceutical companies now realize that hey you know we we do have kiwis who are suffering from this disease so we need to also extend our support and treatment to this country so we've done that um, which is great we also advocate for disease awareness as i mentioned a lot of uh, doctors actually are not aware when they diagnose patients to take into account amyloidosis so advocating for disease awareness and education is very very important not only to the patients themselves but I think equally important to the practitioners, um, pharmacy people, uh, even students in the medical profession. You know, I think it's important that they learn the features of this disease so that when they eventually see a patient who has it, uh, they won't waste time trying to figure out what it is. Right away, they'll take into account that, hey, it may be amyloidosis. I'm also proud that we're able to have conduct workshops and conferences that will be held annually. Welcome everybody, can you hear me? Yes. yes. It's been embarrassing seeing myself on the side. On behalf of New Zealand Amyloidosis Patient Association and Board of Trustees, welcome to all patients, Yafana, and to the healthcare professionals attending this evening. A warm welcome also goes out to our online visitors from different parts of the world. Thank you for taking the time to visit with us for this very important conference. We are all in this journey together. This evening, I want to also use this opportunity to honor the patients who for many years have suffered bravely in silence with this diabolical disease. Many still continue to face this battle bravely with little 
on no hope for recovery. This year itself, we have seen three people pass away. The situation must change. The impact of having, having amyloidosis is far-reaching. The nature of this condition not only robs the sufferer from having a good quality life, but also precious time together with loved ones. Amyloidosis is like a road-raging truck on life's highway. This heinous vehicle rear-ends everything and everyone that gets in the way into the ditch, leaving only carnage behind. This plight has to stop. We are very blessed to live in beautiful Aotearoa. New Zealand is the first country in the world for the sun to shine on as it rises. Unfortunately, we are also one of the last places among other OECD countries to feel the warmth of rare condition medicine treatment. The only way that we can shift this pendulum is by coming together, patients, caregivers, and clinicians, so we can make a positive difference and impact change. So this evening we sit or stand next to each other to not just learn more about amyloidosis, but equally important, I want you to realize that you are not alone, that you matter, that your voice is important, and that change can happen. My prayer is that as we leave this conference, after all is said and done, more empowered and encouraged. Thank you. <laughs>